Hello YouTube, I'm Steven and this is my channel, Oda Treasure. Welcome back to EDT. If you're a subscriber, thank you for coming back as always. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, check out my video, and uh, you'll see if this is something that you're interested in. Hopefully you are. I talk about rare, discontinued, vintage, and interesting fragrances, and I'm not reviewing them. I'm just getting them in the mail and opening up the boxes and showing you interesting stuff that I'm adding to my collection like in this video today. This is going to be episode 58. It's another Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, but it's a different bottle. And I have enough here where I can show you the evolution of how the bottles, how they started when they first came out and the first five, six, or seven years. So check it out. I found another great gem, another treasure I'm going to open up in front of you right here. This is a vintage um, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, but it's a little bit different. It's not exactly the first year. I think this is maybe the the third bottle design that came out. So I'm guessing the year on this one, uh, well, I don't know. Let me open this up first and I'll tell you what I think about it. I should have gotten a scissor. This is going to be harder than I thought. All right. The fragile sticker is getting in the way. All right, here we go. All right, well packed, really well packed for such a small box. This one is not a, uh, it's not a full size. It's not a 50 ml. Those of you who know, these only came out in two sizes. A 50 ml was the largest size, and the smaller size was a 30 ml. So this is a 30 ml, and it looked like it was in almost new condition. So let's check it out. Okay, here it is. So this is, as you can see, this looks more like the modern Abercrombie and Fitch box so it kept changing and uh, here you can compare here is the uh, this is the first box and if you look back to my videos just three videos ago uh, episode 55 this is the very first Abercrombie Fierce from 2002 and I just I was like so excited when I found this I was freaking out like I was just like you know, like a, like cold sweats or something that I that I found this thing. It was amazing. So watch that video if you like uh, this fragrance. And you can see this is probably, I would say maybe six years later. Six, I don't know, maybe six, five or six years later, it started to look like this, which is uh, close to what it looks like now, these boxes, right? If you look, there's very, very uh, slight, like a pinstripe design on this gray. Fierce Cologne, 30 ml. Isn't it weird? Lowercase m, large L. All right, what else is there on the box? So you've been watching, if you've been watching my videos for a while, do you notice something missing on the box? What's not here? Besides a barcode, not the barcode, but there's something else that should be on this box that's not here. Here's our batch code, 056Y. There is no Japanese sticker on this box where there should be. So right away you see that it is a silver cap, which is another sign that it's a vintage Abercrombie Fierce. A and F Fierce, I should say. And the other sign that this is a vintage bottle is the body shape, the body style. This has got that the bodybuilder look on it. Uh, this is the the second uh, version of the uh, the torso picture. So let's look at the level of this thing. And the, bub the bubble comes right to the top. So it, this has been sprayed. It's a 30 ml, remember, it's a small size. So this has probably only been sprayed no more than, what, five times? You know, because each spray, if I spray this another five times, that bubble won't be touching the top anymore. So, but look at the cap. I have several of these, and over the years, the caps oxidize and the caps get dull. This thing is like chrome. I mean, I can, uh, 
see my reflection in this thing. Let me see if you can see me. I mean, that's the top of my head there, it's the phone. So this thing is in beautiful condition. It's really like new, except for maybe uh, one ML missing from it. This is the logo, Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce. This is the logo that continued on, I think today. The bottle still looks the same, the same logo, the same shape, the same design, but a different uh, body on it. And the caps are different. So I'll put a picture of the uh, what the bottles look like today right here. And you can see that this design continued on for what, 15 years now? So maybe this one is from, my guess is maybe 2005, 2006. And I'm guessing around 2008 or nine or 10, it went to the uh, the current uh, torso style and the current cap and the current bottle style and box style that you see here. So let's take a look at the bottom. Let me get that to focus for you guys. All right, Fierce Cologne, 30 ml. The batch code is there, but it's hard to see through this thing. The reason I want to look at the batch code is you want to check everything, especially with Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Zero Y and a, Z, and a zero Y on the box. You want to make sure that the bottle batch code matches the box batch code. It's not a, it's not a huge deal, but you want to make sure that everything is legit. And that's one way to make sure it's legit is to have matching uh, batch codes. Also, this Cologne is faked a hell of a lot. There are so many fake Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce colognes out there. I think thousands of people are probably wearing it, thinking it's the real thing, and it's not. They bought it online. I don't know if they have any fakes of the silver cap one like this, but the, the wooden cap one with the uh, current body style, 50 ml, those are, if you see them online for less than 80 bucks, they're probably fake. If you ever see a cheap one, I don't think it's real. You can see it better here, the batch code, 056Y. All right. So I guess that's all I have for this one. You probably want to know how much I paid for this. Well, it's an almost full 30 ml in like new condition. It looks, God, almost perfect like you'd see it in the store. So I got this for 25, so 2,500 yen, 2,500 yen. And with the exchange rate, that's about $17, 17 bucks and change for this. I think on eBay, these are selling for about a hundred bucks, something like that, maybe, maybe 150, who knows. I think the red fierce ones are selling for 150, uh, but people know it's the, they look for the silver cap, the silver cap fierce. It's still the original formula, supposedly. I don't think there were any major reformulations until about 2010 or 11, where there were some uh, regulatory changes in the fragrance uh, industry, in the perfumery, they, companies had to reduce the amount of some compounds and chemicals. And Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce no longer performed. It was no longer the beast that it used to be. You know, people used to talk about how wonderful this was, not only the smell, but just how strong it was. It filled up the whole room. And after that, there was a noticeable difference, a major difference. And what you have today in the stores, which they sell for 80 bucks or 100 bucks, is kind of like fierce flavored water almost. Go in the store, test it out yourself. Go in the store, spray your hand with that stuff, walk around and uh, see if it's still there uh, four hours later. Uh, see how long it projects, see how long that people can, you know, if you're with your girlfriend or wife or whoever, Ask them if they can still smell it an hour later. They'll probably say yes, but after two hours, probably not. So, I don't know, maybe I should smell this one. What do you say? Give myself a spray. Clean hand, all right. Let's just do one good spray here. I'm a sucker, I'm gonna do two. All right, that's two pretty good blasts. Let's see if it, uh, smells any different than uh, than this one. Actually, what I should do is this. I should open this up and show you. Let's compare them together. 
before I uh, say goodbye. So here is um, here is the first ever bottle, and I have with me the one that came out next. Let me put that on top of here, like that. I have another video where I uh, open up, I have one in the box in perfect condition, like new. And then you have this one here, so let me adjust this. All right. This is the first one, and you can notice how the body is different. And the cap is different. Then you have this one. This is the second one that came out the next year with uh, a brushed metal cap that twists off. I think this one went on for one or two years, if I'm not mistaken, and then they went to this one where they have this uh, logo that's current with the chrome metal top that just pops. It doesn't twist, and the 50ml looks just like this but bigger before going to the modern one that I pictured before. So let's see how it smells. It smells nice. There's a little bit of sweetness in it. It's just a modern musky fragrance with a tad, a tiny bit of sweetness in it. It's just great. I'm not in love with it. I don't think it's amazing, but it just strikes other people as uh, incredible. So that's all I got for this one, guys. Uh, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. It's just raining and pouring here with Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce. Uh, how can you beat it? You know, uh, 17 bucks for this one. I can't remember what I paid for these. I think I paid, I can't remember, you gotta watch the video, maybe 30, 30, 35 bucks or 40 bucks. I didn't pay 50 bucks uh, for any of these, under 50 bucks for for each one of these. So I just think it's a great, um, great find. They're all like new. Each one of these is almost like new. So it's amazing. Give me a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. If you like this video, Please hit the thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see more. I really love doing this. I really love talking about these uh, fragrances, but it's actually quite difficult with my living situation because I live with my girlfriend. We have a we have an apartment here in uh, Tokyo, and it's not exactly a tiny apartment, but we share the same space. And I don't want to disturb her. She works from home. We really don't have a quiet time uh, to make videos and. Uh, so she's in the shower now waiting for me to get this finished. So I got this done. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the videos and uh, stay tuned because I have more coming. All right. So thanks for watching and uh, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.